Um, so my question is, uh, when Medal of Honor came out, yes. there was a very disgruntled lady uh, who'd lost her son in the war in Afghanistan, and she said, I think this game is distasteful. And in the multiplayer mode, you could play as either the Allied Forces or the Taliban. And she thought it was distasteful you could play as the Taliban. Um, and EA's response during that time was, well, it's just like cops and robbers and cowboys and Indians. You always need to have a bad guy, right? And EA washed their hat, the PR department washed their hands of any responsibility of the message of anything about Medal of Honor, which is set in a war that continues to go on today. Um, why did that happen? Why, why was it so quick to say, we have no message, there's nothing here, when there quite obviously was? And what can we do about it so it doesn't happen again? Well, let me disentangle it from the example, because I don't work at EA, it's not fair of me to, uh, uh, to talk about their games, particularly a hot button issue, right? Um, I'm about to do it about my games. Um, I'd say that that is, that is an example of people really believing that our medium is incredibly powerful. And I guess my question would have been, would she have had that reaction if it was a TV documentary? Would she have had that reaction if someone had done a painting? Uh, would she have had that reaction if it was a poem? And I don't know. My hunch is that it was the game itself that made that reaction. And I'd say that there are two possible reasons for it, um, and maybe they're both there. One is the idea that games are for kids, and therefore if you're making something about a war my son died in, and it's a kid's toy, that's distasteful. It's like those um, little toy airplanes after 9-11 that came out of Egypt that were, you know, obviously modeled it. You know, we had this visceral distastefulness. So I think that may have been part of it. Um, I believe that over the century, that bit is going to go away. And I think that people will just be like, no, I understand that this is an art form. That then leaves the other bit, which is, this is a really powerful medium you're meddling with, and I don't like the subject matter you're treating. And with that, I think that it's something for us uh, to address. Um, does, that, does that kind of answer? I can't give you what, a, a What straight. I was trying to go at was the response from the PR department, which said that our game has no meaning, our game is meaningless, it's a game, it's right. just like cops and robbers, out, you know, Allied Force and Taliban makes no difference. Um, but quite clearly, with the talk we've had here about games being powerful and being art, that can't be true. Well, I, I, th I think that um, my opinion is that as an industry, we are going to be uh, changing the way we treat ourselves. I think our critics treat us more seriously than we do. Um, okay. so. In the rules, at which point, um, like, it's like, you know, there's a paragraph or two of meaning that is represented by playing that game. To interpret that game is to, like, solve the puzzle of what it means and, like, figure out, like, what right. it means when things collide. Um, your later work doesn't seem to be so much like that. Right. Um, and, and so I guess what I'm saying is, like, uh, there's this tension with this proceduralist game thing of games. It's almost like there's a little meaning puzzle on these kind of, like, one screen, yeah. um, interpretable games. And then, uh, I think they can be a whole lot more, uh, when you start getting, like, perfect distance, for example. Like, I can't, that's not a paragraph of meaning, right? Like, right. Um, Which I, did, I didn't show because I thought how, it would be too how, long. This was the um, game you showed today was not a paragraph of meaning either. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, what do you think about that first type, the marriage type of game? Did you move away from it on purpose? Uh, no, well, I, um, I, I think that because it was the first of its type that I built, um, I, I very much was like, meaning is a puzzle. Therefore, I'm going to you know, put in the meaning. And then over time, I've kind of moved to, um, uh, I don't like puzzles at all. Um, you know, and, and the, I, I, I'd far more get to, um, expression in terms of people just playing it and say, Oh, I feel this structure now. You know, I feel it around. I don't have to work it all out. Um, and so I, I think it was a start and I'm, I'm pleased about it, but I think that, well, you, you followed my work. I mean, the, the, the final plummet is it, Hit the rock was the last thoughts of the Oroch, which mm -hmm. you know is is not really a game. Which that's fine, you know. Okay. I can't define what a game is. So. Do, do you think that area of the really representational means? Um, I think it's very rich. Is, is, I, no, but is, is do you think it's dead end at all? Did you abandon it? Or? Uh, no, no. I I think that it was just um, 
you know, I wanted to keep pushing forward in terms of different areas. I, I think it's a really rich area. I, I would hope that more folks would do them because I think it's really fascinating. Yeah, well, me too. But I'm, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, sir. Uh, oh. You guys could all shout it at once and then, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> a new game. I'm Alexandra Holloway from UCSC. Um, you mentioned earlier that there's the d types of games that you enjoy that didn't change you as a person, and then you said that there's games that did change you as a person. Can yes. you give some examples? Balance of Power, uh, The Sims, SimCity, uh, they all uh, change the way I view the world, and I, I think it's incredibly powerful. I think um, uh, a slow year, Ian's game, changed the way I view the world. I think that um, Ian uh, Bigamoose, uh, uh was I Wish I Could Kiss the Moon. Uh, I mean, uh, it, it, I mean th these are just beautiful works that make my heart sing. I'm not suggesting that all of those games were designed as art. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm sure some of them were, uh, but they certainly influenced me. Um, and I would, um, so those those and and many many more. I mean, I, I I love indie games, and I can't believe that I get the best games in the world for free at indie games you know, websites every day. And there are people out there plumping down big money for games that I don't think are interesting at all. So I, I would say, if you if you look for games that inspire me, go out to the indie games websites because that way lies lies wonder. Thank you. Thank you very much.